Hey, it's Doug, hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to improve our falsetto yet again. This is part two of a series, and we're gonna focus here on getting a really loud and powerful falsetto sound. Let's do it. So just before we get into it, if you didn't know, I've actually made another video on how to sing in falsetto uh, previously, not too long ago, and that's kind of like a part one to this video. If you haven't seen that, definitely go and check it out because what we're doing today is more advanced. We're learning how to sing it louder and more powerfully, whereas that first video covers basically just making a nice, sweet falsetto sound that's not too breathy and not too tight. Just a really nice sound, so definitely go and check that out now if you haven't seen it. Just before we get into the exercises, check out this clip of Brendan Urie singing Death of a Bachelor, the falsetto section, because I want you to understand that this is the kind of tone we're going after by doing the exercise in this video today. Check it out. Something with that amount of power and volume. So we're going to start right up here on the E5 and the first thing that I want you to do is open your jaw or mouth really like this. I call it the crazy face. I'm really stretching it open. You want to expose especially the top row of teeth and even the bottom row of teeth if you can. And you also want the cheeks to be really high up there. This is going to help you get a bit more brightness in the sound and if you don't do it it's gonna sound a little bit more muffled, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, I don't want you to put too much air into this falsetto sound. I'll give you a quick example. This is good. I don't want you to do this. Exactly, because that will happen. You don't want to go, you don't want to put too much air through it. And you don't want the flip side to that where you put too little air through it. Too overly compressed sound, you don't want this just doesn't sound right or feel right. So you want a nice balance and you just want to make the sound and volume, you want to produce the volume that will let the sound come out nicely like this. Why don't you give it a go? Okay, cool. So follow along with me and we'll go down the scale. Remember to keep the face really stretched open. And last one. All right, cool. Good job. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. But on, but on the vowel, the oo sound. Okay, so it rhymes with the word through. Oo. Let's go all the way up here. Second scale. Exactly the same crazy face. Even if you close your lips to like this, keep your upper cheeks really high. You could even try exposing the teeth again. Let's go down. Two more. Okay, good job. Now, we're gonna do it one more time, all right? And we're gonna try to go even louder, okay? 
Now, there is a risk that if you go too loud, you could possibly become hoarse in the throat, meaning that, you know, there are some issues which may arise. So I do want you to be careful, but I want you to go as loud as you comfortably can so that you feel like you're really growing this aspect of your voice, okay? So if I go a bit louder, I can actually feel my voice working in a little bit of a different way. It literally feels like there's more activity in the body. Like it feels physically harder to do. And I can use that as a sign of, oh, I'm really doing something that I'm not used to, getting out of my comfort zone and learning to sing the falsetto even stronger and more powerfully. But like I said, just be careful because if you push too hard, it is possible to create, like I said, a bit of hoarseness in the throat. But just be careful and you should be okay. If it starts to hurt, just stop. Maybe give it a break or maybe even stop for the day. Just, just try to be smart about it, basically. All right, let's try. So a bit louder. Um, one more thing, you can use the belly support. So if you don't know how to do that, you can check out some of my other videos. So you can put a bit more pressure in the belly. Okay, keep going down. Keep trying to go loud. Sometimes it just takes a little bit more control. Cool. All right, last one, the ooh sound. And again, loud, using a bit more belly support. And yeah, just taking it as good as you can get. Stretch open the face, expose the teeth. Much louder. Last one. Great. And once you're done with these exercises, you can test if your voice has, you know, kicked into high gear, warmed up more from, you know, just doing the falsetto sounds for five minutes and test it out in the song that you're working on. It actually does feel better, to be honest. Ooh, how can I ask for more? Feels good. Maybe still a little bit wild, but I could do with more practice on that. But these exercises will definitely help you. So that's it for today's video on falsetto. Make sure to give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. You can leave me a comment if you have any questions, I'll answer you. And yeah, check out my five day free course and link below. I've got other links in there. You can check out my Patreon. Got exclusive videos, you can add me on Instagram, send me a message, you can book lessons, you can do all that. Alright, anyway, I'll see you in the next video and just thank you for watching. Bye bye.